In the previous video, I motivated the fact that I want to make a simple quiz program using Scratch that helps me review my state capitals. And so what I want to have is a program where this cat will randomly pick a state and say to me, what is the state capital of Iowa? randomly picked Iowa maybe, and I have to type in my answer and it tells me whether I'm right or wrong. And so to do this, I need to have the data for the state capitals to begin with. So the first thing that we're going to do is go out and find the list of the state capitals. And so here's a Wikipedia page that has all of this information for me, right? So I'm going to really quickly just copy and paste all of this data from Wikipedia. All right, I'm going to grab it all. I'm going to copy that, and now I'm going to paste it into an Excel spreadsheet. And you say, why are you going to all this trouble? Well, it turns out that in order to really get every, my data carefully, it, it helps if I have it in a comma-separated value file. So I'm going to put it out here. Uh, I'm going to get rid of these, these header blocks. I'm going to make sure there's nothing funky at the bottom. Uh, there is, so we want to delete this stuff out. And so what I've got is a basic file of states and abbreviations and capitals and all of these things. And I want to save this out as a comma separated value file. So we're going to do save as. I'm going to save this out to my desktop uh, into this folder for later retrieval. So I'm going to save this as state capitals. And I'm going to save it as a CSV file. So I'm going to come in here to comma separated values, CSV, state capitals, and we're going to save that. And it's going to complain a little bit, but that's OK. That's good enough. I'm going to get rid of that. And now what, what you'd notice if we, if we came back out to that folder, I have this state capitals file. It is, if we open it in a word processor, you'll see that it's just a file where every column is rep every row is in here and is a row, and each column is separated by commas. And this actually works much better than the list that I made for food. It turns out that the new line characters at the end sometimes cause problems. So we want to have this comma separated value file. By the way, if uh, you don't want to go through the trouble I just did of grabbing it from Wikipedia, I'll make that state capitals list available on the website. And you can just use that. All right, so now we're ready to move on and import this state capital file into Scratch.